Hello, hello. Welcome to Rise Above with Tammy Lynn. I am Tammy Lynn and I'm honored to have this opportunity to speak into your life, to empower and encourage you to continue running your race, fighting that good fight of faith and finishing strong in Jesus name. I have another prophetic word from the Lord, an encouraging word from the Lord. This began stirring about three weeks ago and then a few nights ago he added to it. Today he added more to it and I knew that it was time to release it. I just released another prophetic word in which I sat and I had written it out and allowed that to flow. I feel compelled just to come on here and to speak and to let it flow. So for those of you who have ears, hear what thus says the Lord. The time is now. About three weeks ago, I was sitting on my back patio and there was a few clouds in the sky. And we've been getting a lot of rain here in Florida where, I, where I'm at. But as I was sitting on my patio that morning, having my time with the Lord, having my coffee, it was like coffee in Jesus time, like every morning, I heard suddenly out of nowhere, the sound of an abundance of rain. I began to look because I knew what I was hearing. I looked and I looked and I looked. I even got up out of my seat and I went to one side of my patio to the other side of my patio looking. There was not even a sprinkle, no raindrop, no nothing. Ground was dry. Everything around me was dry. I realized that prophetically I was hearing within me the sound of abundance of rain. My faith has caused me to see things and to hear things before, but I had always desired to literally hear it because I knew of others who had been given that gift. The Lord is faithful to give us the desires of our heart. Deep calls into deep. When we go deeper with him, I'm telling you, the things that he does is just absolutely amazing. I absolutely love life with Jesus because Jesus is real. He is with us. He speaks and he shows us things. If we will only look for those things. So he gave me that gift and prophetically, literally I was hearing the sound of abundance of rain. So that was about three weeks ago. And I knew that that was prophetic. I knew that, um, in that moment that the abundance of rain was coming, which took me back to, um, the uh, prophet Elijah on Mount Carmel. And I released a video several months back on that. And, you know, I, I can see the cloud. I've been seeing the cloud. I've been seeing the promise coming your way. I've, I've been hearing it, but I haven't been hearing it in a way that I had that literal, like that prophetic hearing in that moment that morning. But I knew that it was closed because he said it's coming. So that's what I knew that morning. And then about three nights ago or two nights ago, three days ago, I was sitting on my front patio and it was raining that day and there was an abundance of rain all day. It would like come and then it would go. And so that evening it, it was raining and I wanted to go out and sit on my front patio. I love the sound of the rain. The Lord speaks to me through the rain. It's just so peaceful. And so I was sitting out there and it was an abundance of rain. And there was a stirring within my spirit. And I knew like his presence was just so strong. And as I took a notice to his nearness and the stirring within me, the rain that was already abundant became more abundant. And the stirring increased. His presence got stronger. Then, and this is all within just a few minutes, like it was an abundance and then it was abundance, abundance, and then it turned into an abundance, abundance upon abundance. And it was loud. It was just gushing down. The sound of it hitting my roof and then coming off the roof. It was incredible. And as I was looking at the rain hit the ground and listening to the sound of this magnificent abundance of rain, he spoke this to me. He said, that he had gathered all the tears of pain from his people in the past season. And now he was releasing tears 
of too good to be true. That his people had sowed tears of pain, of disappointment, from rejections, from abandonments, from bad reports. But now they were going to reap tears of too good to be true. And he said, now, now is the time. And then today, as I knew that I was going to release this word, he even gave me a deeper revelation. When I prophetically, like literally heard the sound of abundance of rain, but there was no rain and everything was just dry. And I knew that it was coming. I was sitting on my back patio. But when the rain hit almost three weeks later and he caught my attention and he used that. God is very intentional. God speaks. He does. <laughs> Anybody? He just does. I just love it. Love life with Jesus. So three weeks later, that, that Friday night, there was not a coincidence that that abundance rain was happening and that I wanted to go out and listen to it because God knew and he got my attention. I absolutely loved his presence. And um, he had showed me I was on my front patio. The rain was in front to me. The rain had manifested. He wants you to know, forget what lies behind. And behind was the promise that he made to you. Behind you was the scriptures he kept confirming to you and affirming to you to keep you strengthened, to stay in the race. But he says, now the promise is in front of you. The manifestation is in front of you. His word becoming flesh is in front of you. And he says, forget what lies behind. Forget everything of the past. Forget what people did to you. Forget the mistakes. Forget the rejection. Forget the abandonment. Because now is the time to focus only on what is in front of you. It was an abundance upon an abundance upon an abundance of rain. And he wants you to know this is your due season to reap tears are too good to be true. This is your due season for the fulfillment of the promise. This is your due season to dance upon the ashes of the wicked. It is right in front of you. And now, now is the time. He spoke to me a few nights ago and he says, now, now is the time. It was no longer a matter of waiting. The time had come in the name of Jesus. I prophesy that your wait is over. The delay is over. The manifestation of the promise is here. The prodigals returning is here. You are no longer waiting for them. Now is the time. Now is the time that the prodigals are coming to their senses, returning back to the father and he's returning them back to you. Now is the time for the flipping of the script on that report that the doctor gave you because the Lord has had the final say the whole time. Now is the time for you to report upon the report of the Lord. Now is the time for the restoration of your marriage. You have waited. You have fought the good fight of faith. Now is the time. Now, people of God, capital N, capital O, capital W. And I know that you've heard that word before. I know you've heard it for days. I know you've heard it for weeks. I know you've heard it for months. I know you've heard it for years, but you've got to know that the word of God is prophetic and it continues and it goes on and on and on until it is fulfilled. And he wants you to know that yes, the promise was coming, but now the promise is here. And this was an abundance of rain. And I have said it before and I'm going to say it again because it's hitting my spirit. Amos 9. This is your Amos 9 13 season and it is going to be an overflow, an overflow of the blessings. He's not just going to give you the promise. He's not just going to fulfill the promise. It is going to be an overflow. I just released another prophetic word and he says your table is ready. Oh my brother in Christ. Oh my sister in Christ. 
eyes. If you could only see what is on that table, it is more than enough. He is an Ephesians 3 20 God. He says, your eyes didn't see this coming. Your ears didn't hear this part. You knew of a little bit, but he is about to show up and to show out with the shockwave of his glory. Hallelujah. People of God in the name of Jesus, I decree this is the time. Now is the time you have stepped into the time you have stepped into the fulfillment of the vision. It had delayed, but again, he says, I'm hearing him say the delay is over to him. Be the glory forever and ever. Hallelujah. People of God at this table, you are going to be rejoicing. You are going to be singing that he has triumphed gloriously. This is your time, people of God. Glory. Hallelujah. I'm just so super excited. I'm so happy for you. I know how a battle can feel. I know how the weariness can feel, but good job. Well done, faithful servants. You stayed the course. You continue to pray. You continue to believe. You continue to hope against all hope. And now, now God is going to match his faithfulness with your faith. Glory. Hallelujah. He said, according to your faith, it is done. Hallelujah. People of God. Hallelujah. So now, now people of God, it is here. It is in front of you. Glory. Hallelujah. My brothers and my sisters in Christ, continue to stand firm on the word of God. Stay strong in your faith and stay expectant and look in front of you because it's right in front of you. And he is going, he is going to do what he told you and that which you had hoped for. As I said in the previous prophetic word, now you will see in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Until next time, people of God, shalom.